so we just got done with the Drag Your Kid to Pride event at Mr. Mr. in downtown Dallas, and I am here with... Noelle Sinclair. And what is your name? I am Ariel Diamonds. How do you think the event went today? I think it was amazing. I never get to like perform in front of children. It's like performing in front of children. I have like six other younger siblings. So it was, it was very emotional. I loved it. It was probably one of the best shows I've ever done. What do you say to the conservative parents that wouldn't bring their children to an event like this? Why? Here's the thing. I don't think that there is any kind of issue with exposing children to this because especially if, you, if your child is in the community or you may think they are. I, ju I just think that drag is educational. Yeah! Or do you think exposing children to drag will result in more um, kids doing drag eventually? I think so, um, and, and I hope so because like I, like I said, it's the biggest confidence booster. Like, yes, it can be negative at times, but, but I, I think that drag builds confidence. Do you think exposing kids to drag will make more, peop more children go into drag eventually? I feel like yes, because I feel drag is such like an art form. There's so much dancing, there's hair, there's wigs, there's makeup. There's so many things that kids will like, will love to experience with. So I feel like a lot of kids will want to like dabble in everything that's going on in like drag. What do you say to the children whose parents wouldn't bring them to an event like this? There is love. If you're not feeling it from your parents, someone loves you. We love you. I'm getting emotional. <laughs>